welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to talk a little bit more in depth about my prep, what I'm doing, why I'm doing it and what I expect to get out of this prep. I'll tell you a little bit more about what I'm eating. What you saw a little while ago was my six weeks out physique update. I did take check-in pictures and set them to my coach. I usually check in with my coach on Wednesdays. Today is Friday, September 16th and um, she just replied to me so I figured I would share some of the stuff with you guys. So. I did start my prep at 20 weeks out. It's best for me to start as early as possible because for my body type, I do not lose weight very quickly. I have an endomorphic body type. I am short, I'm only 5'1", and it takes a while for me to lose weight. Um, I have a kind of round body type. It takes a while for me. I'm, I'm okay at gaining muscle, but it takes kind of a longer time for me to lose weight. So it's best for me to start early on out, which I did. My coach had me on a baseline uh, meal plan. I don't do, if it fits your macros, I don't count my macros or anything like that. I do portion control with food groups. My coach gives me a prescribed amount of portions to eat and I follow that. Um, that works for me as a nutritionist. I really appreciate that method because it's simple. Um, I don't see myself calculating grams of carbs or fats or proteins and putting it into my fitness pal. I know a lot of the top athletes do that. Maybe I'm just not there yet, but this method has been working for me where I'm to eat half a cup of this, half a cup of that, quarter cup of that. That works for me at where I am right now. That's the way I coach my clients and I, I find that it works for me. It's simpler, it's easy for me to follow and not get so caught up with numbers and tracking and all that kind of thing. So within the five food groups, protein, starches, fruits, veg and fat, you know, she'll tell me to change the type of fruits that I'm eating. So she changed me from like high sugar fruits, bananas, pineapple, mangoes, fruits like that, in exchange for lower sugar fruits, berries, apples, kiwis, and um, the types of starches that I'm eating. So I was killing myself with Ezekiel bread. I love Ezekiel bread with avocado on top. Avocado on toast is like the best thing ever. If you haven't had it, try it. I was eating that every single day. Um, so she kind of pulled me back from the Ezekiel bread and encourage me to eat more lower glycemic starches like beets, squash, pumpkin, sweet potato, things like that, which I've been trying to eat more of. Um, but I love my bread. She hasn't really changed much other than that up until this point where now I'm eating less fruit, less starch, no more cheat meals, I was having two a week, no more dairy, no more protein bars, and so what she has done is made small tweaks up until now, and now I'm really starting to tighten it up. Um, my workouts stay the same. What I'm doing now is a split where I'm doing um, back and biceps on Monday, legs on Tuesday. Wednesday I'm doing uh, chest, shoulders and triceps. Um, Thursday is a madness in the gym workout which is usually um, all sorts of different movements, body weight stuff. Friday is a core and flexibility workout and Saturday is a functional workout. And then I do cardio on top of that. I never do more than 30 minutes of cardio. I'm doing two hit, two, three steady state, and two days of sprints. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to be six weeks out. Um, you know, competing for me is kind of like, how do I say this? If you've ever played Mario Kart, which I hope you have, everybody has played Mario Kart. It's like one of my favorite games. And you get that mushroom or star, and then you like light up, and you like whiz past everybody and you're like blazing down the track and you like bump over things and the shells come at you and then you just bounce them off and you know you're like basically unstoppable that's how I feel when I'm on prep um, so it's it's great for me because I love feeling I love having structure I love having routine I love having a plan because I feel like I thrive on routine I, I just get laser focused, I feel stronger in my body, I feel stronger in my mind and that bleeds over to other areas in my life, so my business, my relationships, my thinking, is just stronger overall. And so, I love it, it excites me and I encourage everyone to find something that excites them and helps them to grow even though it's scary. It is hard and it is challenging and I'm not saying that it's easy. but. I like challenging myself and I like seeing what I'm made of. 
I, I do like nutrition and fitness too. I have a bachelor's in nutrition and dietetics and I got into fitness a long time ago. My mom passed away when I was 15 and I kind of used fitness to help me heal and just get in touch with myself and my heart and my body and my mind. I was kind of lost at that point and fitness helped me to work through it, so to speak. It, it became my passion, fitness, and then, you know, nu nutrition comes in after that. And I, I got my degree in nutrition and dietetics. I went back to school and I've just been in love with nutrition and fitness ever since. It's helped me to heal and move through a lot of things and obstacles in my life that could have sent me down the wrong path. I'm really grateful for finding that and having it in my life. And after my mom died, I've kind of just been obsessed with improving and developing myself overall and I find I do that best in prep and competing so it really isn't about the win for me um, yes I would like to have a trophy I would like to get a trophy I would like to win obviously anybody would but if I don't it's okay because whole prep is that there's victory in that alone don't, I try not to be too serious about it because this at the end of the day is fun for me if it wasn't fun I wouldn't be doing it so yes it's hard work yes I challenge myself Yes, some days I don't feel like doing it and I do feel like throwing in the towel, but um, I don't and that's, that's the whole point of having a coach and a group of people who support you and love you, who help to keep you on track, give you an objective opinion on things and just help you to stay the course and help you to achieve your goals. And I'm not saying that you have to compete to feel that way. Um, everyone has their own thing, but I do encourage you to find something that excites you, that scares you, that makes you feel confident and energized and good about yourself because we all need something like that in our life. It doesn't have to be a competition. It could be running a marathon. It could be pursuing a degree. It could be doing a photo shoot. It could be anything you want it to be that challenges you that scares you and if it scares you it's even better because that means it's gonna it's gonna make you grow and it's gonna make you stronger and better than before if you are interested in competing and you want someone to talk it over with feel free to email me and I can put you on to one of the best coaching teams out there and if you want to look into the federation that I compete in it's fitnessuniverse.com they're a really cool federation they keep it classy and not that spread legs bend over thing which I, I don't, I'm not judging anybody who does that. I mean, that's just part of the game. But at the point that I'm at right now, I don't have to do that. And so I choose not to. Fitness America puts on a great show. They have a great production. They make it fun. They make it family oriented. And I think that's all I have to say for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to close out with some clips from my chest shoulder tricep workout the other day. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and have an amazing day. Bye.